Hey, what's up everybody? Scott from VicariousVideos.com again. We are out at Chandler's on Lake Union, beautiful Lake Union, to meet up with Chef Kevin Rohr and try out the whiskey crab soup. We're going to show you how to make it. It's easily one of the most popular items on the menu. Likely because this isn't Chandler's Steakhouse, it's Chandler's Crab House. And the real thing greets you the moment you walk through the door. We're going to make whiskey crab soup. We're going to take some uh, crab shells. we got some Dungeness and uh, snow crab and king crab. You heard right, this has three kinds of crab. And we're just going to break these up a little bit. The chopping begins with onions, carrots, celery, all combined with our crab, herbs, and seasonings to begin making our stock. I hear this is the uh, most requested recipe uh, uh, for the whole... By far. I'm just going to make like a couple gallons. We usually make this in a 30 gallon uh, <laughs> at a time. Oh, wow. And we end up making those 30 gallons, you know, depending on the time of year, two, three, four times a week. A week? A week. Wow. Once all the items are assembled, it's time to put them into our pot and heat them up to begin the flavor creation process. The vegetables are heated up until they begin to caramelize. You're bringing out the flavors of the uh, vegetables. And by doing this, you'll make a much richer soup. Pretty soon the wafting smells of crabs and veggies are getting this crab lover inspired. Right now we're going to add some uh, brandy. Water is added and an unexpected ingredient. A couple ounces of tomato paste. And then comes the all-important simmering stage. Bring it to a boil, turn it down, and let it simmer for at least an hour. Oh, but there's still plenty to do while it's simmering. What we're going to do now that our stock is reduced is we're going to make a roux. So we're going to add about a cup of uh, butter. Then add flour. You usually go like one to one. You get a cup of, a cup of butter, a cup of flour. Okay. Right Roux is crucial. The, the roux is going to give it the, the body. The liquids are then put through a fine strainer. And a half gallon of heavy cream is added to our one gallon soup base, along with Tabasco and some of the hard stuff. About a half a cup of each of the whiskey and the sherry. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do twice, double that recipe. <laughs> You can add as much as you want. <laughs> the delectable crab is added at the end to keep the meat from falling apart. Then, the finishing touch. Old date seasoning. Oh, wow, okay. Right on top, which kind of gives it that East Coast flavor. But soup wasn't meant for the display case. It's meant to be enjoyed. So I'm going to take one for the team and try this whiskey crab soup. Here's to you, everyone. Mmm. I think I need a little bit more research. I loved this stuff so much that by the end of the bowl, I practically had my nose in it. Hey, don't judge me.